Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Join us each and every week as we travel across the Midwest filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Sponsored by Bartline Barrels, Green Bay Trophy Fishing, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Delco, Guillotine, Kamik Law Offices, Comalong, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Heavy Shot, Vexlar, Warrior Boats, Wings Over Wisconsin, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Hey, thanks for joining us this week here on Larry Smith Outdoors. We're doing something different again this week. We're up here by Reamer, Minnesota, and we're gonna do a little grouse hunting and hopefully shoot a few woodcocks too. Hey, we're with our good friend, Justin Wheezy. Hey, where is the good looking Wheezy? Well, she's at home today watching the little one. <laughs> really? So yeah. tell everybody about the baby. Well, the baby is six months old today and doing good. In name? Finn. Finn? Yeah. Finn, now I wonder where that would come from, from a fishing and hunting guide. Yeah. Hey, Justin, tell us what we're all, what we got going on here today. Tell the folks at home, you know, what we're actually gonna be doing. We're gonna be working off some some of these oh, this yeah. poundage, you know? Yeah, you're gonna be up here and uh, we're gonna be walking through a lot of thick stuff like this stuff we got right next to us. That is thick. Anywhere from like 10 to 12 year old cuts. Okay. Where our birds are piled up right now. When you're looking at hunting woodcock and grouse, you know the key to it. Tell everybody at home what the key to hunting birds is. Uh, getting off the beaten path, having a great dog. Great. Yep. That is definitely the key. And we got Willie today. Willie's got uh, some, definitely got some, some experience for being a two and a half year old under his belt, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Well, the biggest thing with, you know, trying to get a good dog like that is finding the right bloodline, but experience. Right. Getting them under a ton of birds. Hey, you know, and Justin, the other thing is too, is that I got a call from Tommy Hicks's wife. He's getting a little round around the belly there. Yeah. And she said, will you please take Tommy and get him some exercise? And I know the only way we're going to get Tommy any exercise with him is that either somebody's chasing him <laughs> or he's in the woods chasing something. Well, we're just going to give Tommy a dog and have him come here for the rest of the month. There you go. Yep. Get him fit and trim. Hey, go. Tommy, thanks for joining us today good deal a little pregnancy weight to lose my child <laughs> <laughs> hey I think it's going to be a great day and it always is uh, stay tuned let's see what happens next here doing a little rough grouse hunting Hey, don't I look good in my new Larry Smith Outdoors apparel? You can look good too. All you have to do is go to LarrySmithOutdoors.com and check out our brand new apparel page. Get your Larry Smith Outdoors apparel today at LarrySmithOutdoors.com. You know, ice fishing is a great family activity. It gets everyone outside, it's hey, a lot of fun. Got yeah, a Vexilar I can use? I sure do, here you go bud. Thanks. You know, even kids enjoy a Vexilar. It's easy to use, it's like a fishing game. Hey, it's Dad, a Ruby got one, can I have one too? Sure, Rose, you can. Thanks. No problem. There's no doubt, Vexlar has been helping generations of ice anglers catch hey, more bud, fish. I'm ready to fish too. Can I use your Vexlar? You sure can. To catch more fish, learn more at Vexlar.com. He is ready to roll. What's up, the, the beeper for just so you know where he's at? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, he's got the single phone beep on right now. It yeah. kind of helps him locate him. Okay. And when he locks up, it'll go faster? It'll go faster. You'll have okay. like every second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it, Tommy, hold it. Oh. 
<laughs> now that is awesome. This is a woodcock here. This is a northern flight bird. All our locals have left. The northern flight birds are actually bigger. Got bigger necks on them. Yeah, these are they're cool these are birds. A lot of fun. Willie, good job, go, buddy. Willie. That's what are you guys waiting for? He goes, come on. All right? It's that Tommy Hicks holding up this program. <laughs> I thought we were coming all over to the road on it. Nice. Woo! Whoa. Oh, that Got that one. Oh, that's a good bird. That's a big flight bird. That's a nice bird. I like them big because they're slower. Yeah. Right? Nice that's job, nice. Willie. That's a big. That it's is like a nice bird. you want to mow them. Yeah, that's a beautiful bird. You know, let's talk a little bit about this time of year. People don't think about ticks this time of year. You think when it gets a little colder like this, the ticks are done? That's not really the case, is it? No, not up here. Especially you get in this thick brush, the grass, these uh, deer ticks come out and you can see them at the end of the day. Your dogs are covered with them. Yeah, tell everybody at home sometimes how many ticks are on the dogs. Uh, we've had it up to like 200 ticks a day on dogs. That's that crazy. Off. Yep. I mean, you're going through them with a fine tooth comb. Right. So it's very important all the time. And we use the product Sawyer by, by Sawyer, which is, I think, one of the best products. And you use the same, same thing, stuff. huh? Yep. So don't forget, even though it's cold like this, spray yourself down for ticks for sure. That's one lucky bird. Nice shooting. Woo! Nice shot. There. I think I hit that tree the first time. <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. You know, the other part, what are these woodcock in here feeding on? Uh, they're feeding on worms. Okay. That's what they have this big beak for. Actually, if you look close, there's the ear. Oh, so that, it's kind of between the beak and the eyeball. There's the ear. That's and that interesting. ear is actually used for hearing the worms right, underneath moving the in ground the, in the soil. Job. Nice job, Tommy. That was impressive. That was interesting. Tommy, <laughs> it took you three shots, but you got him. Got it probably didn't. It probably helped that the bird ran into a tree. <laughs> right. This week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. You know, Justin, I learned something. I've had dogs all my life hunting dogs, but I actually learned something today, which, you know, if you're lucky, every day you learn something. Tell everybody what our tip of the week is when it comes to calling your dog when you're in the woods. All right, when you're in the woods, you know, yelling, that voice just travels through. Well, the dog is gonna sit there and he's gonna go looking all over. So what I do is I always put my hand over my mouth and just talk at the ground. That way a dog can actually pinpoint you. So it's it's you're throwing your voice right down to the right ground right where you're at versus like like this, just throwing it out there where it just expands out and the dog doesn't know if you're over here or if you're over there. Exactly. The, that's very interesting because typically when I'm in the woods and I'm you know, my dog is is works away from me and I don't see her anymore, I just start regular calling her. But I'm gonna definitely start doing that. That's a great tip of the week. And we appreciate our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats. Again, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, let's get some more, let's get some more birds. Sounds good. Tommy, I just saw something moving in front of you. Woo! Love that stuff. Hey, Larry. Hey, Tommy. I think I got him. I think I got him. <laughs>
No way. Tommy, I definitely got him. No, I got him. Justin, who got the bird? What an awesome day we had today. A very enjoyable. I know I shedded a few pounds for sure, which is good. I need to lose a little bit of that weight for sure. We got ice fishing season coming up, so I got to get in shape. And what a great way to do it is come up and do a trip with you, Justin. You know, we shot our limit of woodcock today, we kicked up about a dozen grouse. I think I might have hit a couple, but I know Tommy didn't hit anything today. I right. have proof. Right, you have proof on the camera. A little competition between Tommy and I. So, you know, which is all, always that way. Hey, Justin, you know, if people want to come up and do experience what we experienced today with you, tell everybody at home how they can do it. Well, you can look us up on the internet at wheezyoutdoors.com or you can give us a call at 218 402 0086. Hey, and you know, you guys don't just guide for grouse and woodcock. You have a full service guide business and tell everybody at home and it's you and your wife, Alice, you both guide. Yep. Yeah, and we, uh, Alice will be happy to take out ladies if they don't want a male guide. And we do bear hunting, bird hunting, and guided ice fishing, summer fishing, and fly fishing. And we've done some of that other stuff with these guys, and we always have a great time, you know. And I'll tell you what, Tommy, always a great experience. Hey. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Uh, thank always you. a pleasure. Big news, introducing Jiffy's new E6 Lightning with clean power. Easy starting with a squeeze of the throttle. Powered by a six amp hour lithium battery, along with a high torque motor that delivers superior drilling performance. Reverse drilling makes skimming holes a thing of the past. Jiffy's Ripper Blade has longer life. Night lights offer safe drilling even in the dark. The new Jiffy E6 Lightning has everything covered. The guillotine. The most versatile jigging and hook setting system the fishing industry has ever seen. Programmed and customized jigging and hook setting techniques. Bringing innovative remote control technology to the fishing world. This all purpose tool will change the way you fish. The guillotine, made by Rudd Finn. Good morning everybody, Mike from Mike's Country Meats, my son Randy here. We're going to skin and, and show you the sportsman how to skin properly a deer. We're going to cape this one out for some practice so everybody gets kind of an idea of what we're doing. Um, and we'll go step to step on how to process your deer that you spent, how much time in the woods ready to harvest. So, Okay, what we're going to do is normally after we got the deer skin, we would take a, a, a bigger torch and singe the few hair that are on here. Then you're then on 99.9% .9 of the hair all eliminated. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna break this deer down and then we'll take it inside where it's a little nicer and uh, we'll show you what parts and stuff what we're gonna do here. The shoulders just come off very, very easily. Um, you just, it seems right apart here. So you can take them off and here's your whole shoulder. Randy's got the other one there. I'm gonna pull the, the what some guys call it the tender lines, but technically it's the chop side of it here. The tender lines are on the inside. A lot of guys don't know the difference between the chops and the tender lines, believe it or not. So then as you can see, there's an arch cut here. You can see where the seam is here. If you just gently slice that, you can see them. Just round right apart. Again, just 
skim the dark stuff off, you know, make them, put it this way, like everybody says, the guys will eat a little dirty. It's the women that you gotta impress because they're the ones who won't eat it. <laughs> so here's your, here's, here again is your chops, the inside of it. This is the outside where we went down the back. You, you, you can cut these or single chops, butterfly them down. A lot of guys, what we used to do is just cut them in three pieces. That way you can cut them as thick or as thin as you want or use it or marinate it, put it on the grill hole. A lot of guys do that too, so. Okay, so what we got here now guys, this, these were the shoulders that we took off in the beginning. Um, we're going to show you, we're going to pull the shoulder clot out of here, the scotch roll, the bone and rest. Oh, we, we can make some, some nice roast out of this, um, again, or stew meat, sausage meat, hamburger. And, this, and basically, guys, I hope you learned something on uh, how to do a whitetail. Um, it, it's fairly simple. It takes a little practice. You'll get it. Um, I guess YouTube it or whatever, if it can help you out a little bit. But that's, this is how you do a Wisconsin whitetail, 100% boneless, and uh, have a safe and successful season. I just got back from Mike's Meats. They helped me process buck I shot up in Minnesota, but now I have the Nesco vacuum sealer here and I gotta start putting all this venison in the freezer. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. So de depending on the size of your bag and how much meat you have, I've been placing roughly about three to four steaks in this one. So this bag has got four steaks in it. You wanna kind of flatten it out as much as possible. So then you take off your, your open end, and there's a little ridge right here. You place the open end underneath these two black prongs right there, press the lid down, lock it in again, and now you're going to hit vacuum and seal. So as you can hear now, it's sucking all the air out of the bag. Once the light's off, unlock it, lift your lid, and there you go, one vacuum sealed bag of venison steaks. I also have a whole pail of scraps to use that I'm going to make into hamburger, so we're going to use the grinder as well and vacuum seal those as well. All right, so now I have this bin here full of scraps. We got the shard grinder here, pretty simple. You just turn it on. There's three headings on here, there's stuffing, and then all the way at the bottom is grind. So, you have your hamburger right there. Using the Nesco American Harvest Sealer right there, I have some bags already pre-sealed up. Place the open end underneath the black tabs. Close it, lock it down. Now press vacuum and seal. And as you can see, all the air is being sucked out of the bag right now. And once the red light turns off, it's sealed. Unlock it, lift the bag, and there you have a sealed bag full of fresh venison hamburger. This grinder here has been doing a great job. I mean, this bin was tight full of scraps. I haven't had to plug up once, and this is only electric motor, not very big as you can see. It's very small, convenient, you can store it in your house, and you can do a lot of work with it. So if you're looking more for these, look up the Shard Grinder. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier.
Hey, good morning and welcome to our show this week. You know, what an amazing day we had yesterday, Tommy, girl Sunny. You know, and I hope you fished better than you suit, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Hey, we're up here on Lake Superior with Tommy Hicks. And you know, Tommy, it's almost time to put this vessel away, huh? It's getting close. In fact, we were going to put it away two days ago. You called me to go on a little hunt and I thought, well, we'll come back. We might as well do a little fishing. You know, I'll tell you what, Tommy, what are we expecting this morning out here? I mean, you said the fishing's just been on fire. You kept sending me pictures all year. It looked like you had an amazing summer up here. Been just awesome. Tons of lake trout, of course. That's closed now, September 30th. Today we'll be fishing. The salmon are coming in to spawn. The browns are coming in. We're going to be catching them. We'll get uh, steelhead, possibly some splake. It's been really good action. We got a lot of high pressure to deal with today, but I think it'll still be it should be pretty good. Should be a pretty good morning. Water huh? temps are dropping a lot every night. It's 28 degrees right now. So Tony, let's talk a little bit about you this morning. You just took over bait rigs not too long ago, right? About a year ago, we've uh, we bought bait rigs from uh, Tony and Joe Puccio. Um, we got a lot of interesting stuff going on. We have a lot of new products, which we're going to run today. We're going to do some crankbaits. Okay. So, yeah, I'm excited. Hey, Let's if people want to check out what bait rigs, all the products that you have, how can they do it? Um, they can go to our website. That's probably the best way. We do distribute um, all over the country, but uh, www.baitrigs.com. That sounds awesome. Hey, Senior, looks like you've been shooting a lot of ducks lately, too, huh? been good. Yeah? Two real good days and you know the ups and downs of duck hunting but overall it's good. Yeah. It's just great to get out too right? Love the fall. Hey stay tuned let's see what happens this morning out here on Lake Superior. Oh I love this time of year. God dang it. Why can't we just freeze frame this for like another month and a half. Hey hey Tom first one of the morning. Larry. Tommy. On the sunrise. On the sunrise. Oh, a little lip on the sunrise. A little lip. I like that sunrise. It looks beautiful. Nice little coho Lake Superior candy, we call that. That is candy, Tommy, I'll tell you that. We'll take a bunch of them today. Nice job. Good job. Nice work. Yeah. A little more candy. Good eating. Nice job. Yep. A little double. Some more candy. Some more candy, that's right. Somebody's gonna be eating good. Twins. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Nice. Got them in the boat. Beautiful. 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 You know what they always say? We eat fishy. When we eat fresh venison. Uh -huh. Hey Tommy, so what do you got going on from right now until ice freeze up? You're actually putting a big boat away here and you're going to be fishing out of your other boat. 21 footer, so we can take out three, four guys in there comfortably. We'll fish out of that right till we can't go no more. Oh, no way, scoop them, scoop them. Nice. Nice job. Woo. What do you got there? A brown. A brown, huh? Yep. Not bad. Not, Not bad, bad at all. Hey, and you know, what kind of bait is in that fish's mouth? That's a T-bone shad. It's a bait that we just started this year. It's new for 2018. Okay. You can get it in stores. Um, it's been a great bait for us. We've been testing it for over a year. Um, really nice color pattern. We've been doing great on it today. So that's awesome. And it's made by Bait Rigs. Senior, yeah. you're gonna get the job done. On the middle. Woohoo! Come to pop. Oh, it is a brown. Yep. Got it like that. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Woo -hoo. Yeah, nice, nice job. job. Got a brown in. Well, Tommy, I'll tell you what, what a great two days I had with you. You know, hunting yesterday with Justin Wheezy from Wheezy Outdoors, yeah. and what a great way to end the season in the big boat. A lot of fun. A lot hey, of fun. and you know, Tony, thank you very much for coming along. Yeah, and hey, make sure everybody checks out Bait Rigs and you can go to their website and check out all the great products they have. You'll probably be seeing a few more of them on our show for sure. Hey, and Senior, thank you. Like always, it's always a pleasure. You know what? As we were coming in, we were looking behind the boat and I said to you, you know what? You never get sick of seeing that sight. You know what I'm thinking to myself? 
you know, right there is that we are very fortunate to have the things we have in this country. And you know something? I'm thinking we're definitely living the dream for sure. <laughs> hey, everybody, I appreciate you watching our show this week. And I got one, two more things, you know. Hey, Tommy, you know what? I cannot believe that I forgot until we came back in. Can I say it? Let's hear it. Beyond the Catch! <laughs> Beyond the Catch with Tommy Hicks. Hey, Tommy, if people want to get a hold of you and do some great fish and tell them how they can do it. Yep, of course, social media. You can hit us up on Facebook, Beyond the Catch Guide Service. Uh, you can give me a call, 715-292-4342, and, of course, beyondthecatch.com. That's awesome. Hey, and make sure everybody checks out all of our social media sites, especially our website, LarrySmithOutdoors.com. And remember, like I always say, what a great day it is to be alive. Oh, no! <laughs> just kick me. Just kick them off. Oh. Just kick them. <laughs> All right. Some days you gotta pay them. You gotta pay them. I can't imagine how much money's laying on the bottom of this <laughs> bay here. <laughs> oh, Tommy. Come on. Tommy, what the frick and frack? Double jack. You gotta grab your gloves there? Again, like, you know what? Unlock. Lock. Hold on, don't lock that. Yeah. Oh, you son of a Oh, yeah, that's a good deer. These woodcock, feisty wood. <laughs> the woodcock are rubbing on the trees now, too? They do that sometimes. They do, huh? Only in Minnesota. <laughs> They're getting cocky. Though. They're big woodcock. <laughs> oh, shot that one. Wasn't well, me. I shoot them right in the, right in the, right in the old eyeball. See this pretty one? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, no. Two second rule. Don't tell That's anybody. Larry's. Don't tell anybody. That's Larry's. I didn't say a thing in two. Ollie. He did stay on there. <laughs> I love it. Ah, ah, I told you it would work. You <laughs> didn't believe me. We took this bait off and hit it. And somehow he finds it. We caught him, put it back out. <laughs> Damn right. I wanted it back in second position, too. That's how we do it. That's adorable. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the one day this week I was going to take off not eating bacon. Right? Shotgun might have to take some notes on this one. Shotgun. If he could only write, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe he'd take a note, right? <laughs>